Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. I got a message from Heidi Smith the other day at Thunder Ranch and said that Clint had some questions about my teaching trailer. And I haven't heard from Clint yet, but I thought I'd go ahead and try to answer some before I even get started. This is a, a rock solid brand 7x14. Uh, and this is version 1.0. I'm gonna go through it and I'll explain version 2.0 uh, right after that. So inside, I've got a first aid kit hang, hang, that hangs right here and hangs, I got another one that hangs right here. I've got a, a AED I got from the, the tacticalmedic.com, a military grade, comes in a hard case, AED, and another full trauma kit. And I'm getting both of those resituated, but uh, that's what goes right there first aid kit with you know boo-boo stuff in it i uh, gotta have a trash can uh, <laughs> i thought well you know i tried to get around getting you know because it takes up a lot of room but the tra if there's one thing that goes in there is a trash can a uh, full-size spare i shouldn't have to tell anybody that uh spares come in different size uh 4.5 by 5 uh five by five five and a quarter by you know five and a half by five so make sure you can't just take a trailer tire and put it on another trailer. It's got to be the right size. They make a tool that measures, or you can get online and get a tape measure and measure. But make sure, make sure that that fits. I've got several different trailers that all take a different size tire, so I, I've got written on mine all the spare, all the tires, even the ones on on them, all have the size written on them with a mark or marker. I keep a couple of folding chairs in here, and uh, I use them all the time. Uh, spotting scope and uh, a spare jacket and uh, some stuff here. I got a couple of different heaters here in case uh, it, it's cold somewhere. I, I usually take these out in the summer, but you guys that travel a lot, you know, you could go up, be in a different state in, in your summer and be cold there. Uh, a uh, sleeping bag, never know. <laughs> uh, down the bottom, I think you can see it's a Honda generator. I've got the generator set up for propane. I've never ran gas through it, only propane and uh, burns real clean and I've never needed that, uh, but I thought I might, I never have so far. We'll check that out. I've got too much toolbox in here. I've got this thing full of different kinds of tools. And what I figured out using this now over a year is that I just don't need this many. So um, more on that in a, in a few minutes. Um, I've got a workbench here with a vise on it. I use this a lot. Um, because I would repair a lot of guns during class, especially AR-15s, especially castle nuts and gas blocks. I've rebuilt complete guns in class to get people up and running. I've also got my mag pumps here and mounts for my mag pumps, but I use, I use this space a lot. This uh, tabletop I use quite a bit, but inside of it, uh, I'll bring the camera in, is uh, tons of stuff in here uh, that, that I use all the time. So let me get the camera and go handheld and we'll check it out so i sized it to fit our cardboard targets and um i've got measurements on here 100 targets 200 300 400 500 600 700 targets i'm not needed that many but it just kind of helps me keep count uh you know just so i can kind of visually understand how many targets i have uh also i keep a, a little folding table for people to do the registrations on and stuff like that uh got uh, different important vital stuff in here uh wheel chocks for the trailer and a little a little porta john we, we're you know we're in remote places sometimes and the girls don't want to pee uh, my wife won't want to pee there uh kind of a mess up under here uh right now i'm like i said i'm changing some stuff around but uh, a jack that will jack up the trailer and a four-way uh for, for the trailer those are always included that's a pop-up little shelter for the porta john so you don't have to just pee out in the woods a broom and stuff like that i've got some lights in here um, that i'm working on but uh, I, I got better ideas also the reflective tape i don't use that all the time but uh, basically i've got a bunch of extra reflector on this trailer a bunch of extra reflective tape because i'm always worried about the the uh the the lights going out this is called e track echo e track and you can get all kinds of different hooks and things it's for tractor trailers uh what i found is that uh, it, it allows me to do a bunch of stuff in here uh and if you w wanted to of uh version 2.0 this trailer i'll probably make some lower as well because you can get put a platform in here and put a, a blow-up mattress on it if you needed to crash 
crash out somewhere at a range or a place where you're training because we do like i said some remote locations uh, here you can see the extra reflective tape i've added to the trailer uh, i highly recommend it buying it by the roll i've got uh got it on the sides and got it up on the front too but uh but that's uh that's pretty much it uh, in a nutshell i always keep these uh lock wheel locks on here and uh and lock up front when i'm not using it and i've got so many fucking trailers i have to label them uh but the, the point is that uh i know that doesn't make it impossible to steal because somebody's going to say well if i got a blowtorch i can cut that right off yeah you can i just want to make it a little tougher to steal than the other trailers for an added bit of security over the door i've put a inexpensive motion detector light off of uh, amazon and on the back as well on the back you have to put it low enough uh that when you put the door down it doesn't break the light and that's about where that light is that that goes and they come on going down the highway uh but i don't drive it much at night but uh they, they're real handy also just for anti-burglary but we're just get, working on the trailer and stuff i'm thinking about putting one at the nose uh where i do the hookups and stuff like that and see if it uh how helpful it is up there on the door i have a dry erase board it's getting kind of scarred up from the chain i need to sort something out with that uh, then i got the, the safety rules down here and what i figured out was i don't need to draw a race board uh if you have a sharpie you can just draw right on the side of the truck and uh trailer and then erase it uh right off there pretty pretty easily well as i kind of hinted about version 2.0 um i got this one M mostly because this one i didn't really go over it too much over there this one's dual axle and i don't need more weight but i wanted the if i had a blowout i didn't want it to be as much of an emergency and so this actually this trailer is the same size as the other one just with dual axle seven by 14 i believe is the size i think somebody's going to ask me that but um uh but uh, i got it in black because i got all black dodge ram i was going to match but this is the new one now it'll pretty much be set up like that one and this will become my teaching trailer when I get it set up, I'll still I'm still going to have the the vice in it. I'm going to have a way smaller toolbox in it. The the target um, holder thing that's going to be there for sure. Uh, but the main difference is I'm going to have on board a 12 volt deep cycle battery and LED lights all through the thing and a solar panel to keep that thing topped off. And uh, because I get in there to work on stuff and if it's a cloudy day, it's real dark. And then I've tried some battery operated lights, but I got some super bright spotlights and then some regular LED dome lights. I'm going to put all in it uh, to um, and, and again that I can I can top off with a charger or the, the, as little as I'm going to use it. The solar on top will keep it charged up all the time. And, and so that's that's that. But uh, but the reason I drag this thing around um i can stuff the targets in the back of my truck or whatever but it's to have the accessories to have the tools uh to fix guns and stuff like that there's there's not a single class has gone by a rifle class of any type that i haven't fixed somebody's gun and uh, so it's just another part of you know what i believe to be customer service well i hope clint and you guys uh <laughs> enjoyed the video again it's just something i do for the students and um and, uh, uh, you know, I, I, it just, it's just what I do. And it makes it easier for us logistically to jump, dump all the targets and stuff in there and saves room in the truck for us and all of our gear and all that. But uh, version 2.0, uh, I got to leave with version 1.0 uh, for a class in Pennsylvania uh, th this week. So I won't make the transition. But before the next class, I got I to trip out west. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna be teaching in Stur uh, sorry, Sturgis in South Dakota, Fort Pierre, uh, Raton, New Mexico, Tucson, Arizona, Kuna, Idaho, all those places. You guys will be seeing this out there for sure. Uh, but uh, if you got questions, post them below. If you got ideas, post them below. James Jager with Tactical Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.